Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Jacob from Cinema K Productions and welcome to the best recording settings on OBS and also how to fix all lag while recording in OBS. These are two very important things that I just recently figured out. It could save you a crap ton of file size and some game performance if you don't have a capture card or anything. So obviously you're going to have to have OBS Studio. If you follow my OBS Studio tutorials, uh, you can go back to episode 1 where I show you how to compress your microphone, make it sound like mine is sounding right now. Um, you can go check that one out if you want to. If not, just jump right on this one. Download it. Link will be down in the description. All you have to do is just click download and install and you'll be good to go. So what you're going to want to do once you're in here, uh, you should already have your scenes and sources set up. I won't have that going on for you. Um, you, you can do that all yourself. So all you're going to want to do is head on over here to settings. And once this is open, you're going to want to go to your output. Make sure that your output mode is set to advanced. I can't change it right now from simple to advanced because I'm recording. But you're going to go over to the recording tab and you basically just got to copy down all these settings. Um, you want your type to be standard. You want your recording path to be to something different other than your C drive if you have one. Uh, I would not recommend using like a flash drive or like OneDrive or basically like a uh, like an external hard drive. Try to keep everything that's internal. So if you have an SSD or an internal hard drive that's spare, try to use that because that's being used less than your actual C drive. Um, since you're running your OS off of that. Recording format, of course, MP4. Um, that is the best recording output for most editing programs. You want your encoder to be in bank H.264 or whatever capture or uh, graphics card you have. I personally use an NVIDIA card. Um, if you want to, you can change this to X264, which will be your processor, your integrated graphics from your processor, and it might be a little bit different. Uh, that's for you to test run with. I found that my best one with the NVIDIA uh, 974 gigabyte gaming edition that the NBank H.264 is the best. Um, I generally don't rescale my output for recording. I only do that for streaming. Um, custom boxer settings, I don't even know what that is. I didn't mess around with it all that much. And then we get down here to the important part. So, what you're going to want to do down here is set your rate control to CBR. That's constant bitrate, so it will not change from 40,000, which is the bitrate that I chose. That's just so you can get the clearest image, which is what you guys are getting right now. What you're going to want to do is just set your bitrate to 40,000, and then later you're going to want to change this to output scale resolution to also 1080. Um, just change all that down, you'll be fine. It'll be constant bitrate of 40,000. Uh, the keyframe intervals, I always have that one at zero. I don't change that around at all. Preset default, profile main, and level auto. You can check this, and then uh, zero two, and that's basically all your recording settings for you. Um, that's all you have to do. You can set up your audio bitrate if you want to. I just bumped my track one, which is my microphone, up to 320, just to get a little bit better quality, but it will up up your file size by about a gig after everything's done, so yeah. That's after like three hours of recording. It'll up it up by about a gig. So if you don't have the gig to give, then don't do it. Um, video. I always have my base canvas resolution as the canvas resolution of my monitor, which is 1920x1080. Uh, and this one I actually messed up because I was streaming last night. I always, I generally have this for recording at 1920x1080, but it's at 1280x720 right now. So change that to uh, 1920x1080. And then the common FPS, of course, 60 frames per second. Change this to sharpen scaling 32 samples Lascos, and you are good to go. Um, that should be all. If you guys want to, you can copy down my advanced settings. This is everything. I'm not going to go through it all because I don't really think I changed all that much, except for the process above normal. But other than that, that is it. I'm also going to show you guys how to fix lag. This is a very, very easy step. Very easy step. Okay, all you have to do is right click the window and click enable preview. It'll turn the preview off and you won't see it but the recording still will and you'll still get maximum frames. I figured this one out on accident and I was just messing around with it and I did it and I saw another dude doing it so I'm like oh hey I wonder what this will do and now my recording or like flawless I am running like over 200 frames on any game that I play before I was running like 60 or like 80 somewhere around there anytime you in uncheck that you're good to go. So yeah, that has been this tutorial for you guys. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you guys give that like button a huge render. Also, subscribe because it helps me out a lot in the long run. My name is Jacob from Cinema K Productions, and I will talk to you guys later. See you guys.